Well, hi everybody. It's been a while since I've been on and we have been enjoying Grandbaby Snuggles for the last almost two weeks. She's 12 days old today. So we're taking a little bit of a break. I'm so excited. We are at the Quilt International Quilt Show in Salt Lake City today. And I thought I would take a few minutes here and there. So if you've got time, I'll be popping on and off showing you some of the things that we're seeing. Hi, Sherry. How are you today? Anyway, um, so we're here in Salt Lake. This is sponsored by uh, the same group that does the Houston show. This is one of their traveling exhibits. For those of you who came in the shop, um, if you'll remember, we did a uh, we did some things in support of the Lorraine Cinema exhibit, which is going to be here. And I will be popping on a little later to show you that when we get over there. Uh, what I wanted to do today, though, was show you that uh, we have. Uh, one of the Karen Fisher who is a local quilter in Tucson and who is going to be teaching for the Cactus Quilt Shop this fall has some quilts that have been accepted in some of the special exhibits this year for this traveling show so they're gonna we're here in Salt Lake this weekend and I think they're gonna be in Long Beach next week next month so if any of you want to head to Long Beach you have that option but I wanted to show you one of Karen's quilts that's here on display so hang on a minute this is for a celebration of color and Karen has named this quilt and then there's red and that's very true right there's red Karen designs all of her own quilts um, she does She's an incredible designer and she's a marvelous quilter. She's the past president of the guild. But, and she does, she usually does her own quilting as well. And I don't know if I can get close enough, but can you see the interesting quilting that she's done with that red thread on that yellow, the little pebbles and the little, and it looks like pebbles and stream and stuff. So anyways, this is one of Karen's quilts, but you can see we're here, sorry, um, at the show. And I'm going to flip this back around and I'm trying to not interrupt anybody else's viewing. Um, but it's got some incredible, incredible things. I want to just flip back around to the front here and have you take a look at the award winners in this celebration of color. They are some incredible quilts and they're very, very different. Yeah, Karen has more. We'll show. But this is first place, and it's called 20 Baskets Full of Flowers. Now, isn't that just something? Said it took her about two years, uses 70 different fabrics. She was flipping through a book. Um, her name is Rosales Rosario. And she put this together in a quilt. But I want to show you some of the, it was machine quilted. But look at some of the quilting motifs they used to highlight all these fabulous, fabulous. But isn't that something? Hand applique. This is one Nancy Landon would like, don't you think? Very much her style. Or similar, anyway. This next one is called Chroma Infinitum. Tessellated triangles, all very different. Totally different look. And this also is first place in modern quilts. And then look at this one. I think this one's so fun. This is very much my style with points. I love, I, I do them poorly, but I love the look of them. And this is first place in the art quilt competition. So anyways, some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Hey ladies, how are you? So glad you're joining us. Uh, for those of you who just come on, we are at uh, the International Quilt Show and Quilt Festival in Salt Lake City. We've been enjoying our last 12 days with Grandbaby Hugs. She's adorable and she's such a good, 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 good baby. She really, really is. It's really quite something. I'm gonna just do a quick scan here while there's nobody in here for you to see some of these others celebration of color quilts. So just see some of these. I'm just trying to take advantage of the fact that no one happens to be here. The crowds are actually very small. Isn't that something? 
all these different, this is all based on color. And don't you love how she's taken the design out into the border? Now that is a, um, a design trick you can do yourself with all sorts of different um, patterns is take that out into the border. It gives it a totally different feel. It enhances the movement in my opinion. I think that's really quite lovely. Really quite lovely. Reminds me of a shoots and ladders game almost. Here's another one. And then look at this. I'm so fascinated by um, uh, applique. This one is hand applique embroidered, pieced, and quilted. It's called flamboyant. That name works, doesn't it? Doesn't it work? I think that works really well. And then this one's called Rainbow Tempest. This has a very ombre effect. Can you see that if I back out? Do you see how that kind of ombre is through there? Very nice, don't you think? All right, I want to find, Karen has another quilt, so. I keep switching back to me so that I don't get anybody on film who doesn't want to be on camera. I'm trying to be respectful of everybody else's uh, space. But this one is Matrix. Now, for those of you who know Karen, she has this matrix that she does, and she does it in various um, styles. I've seen a few of them. And this one is hand applique, machine pieced and quilted, and it is her original design, her matrix. But that's Karen's quilt. And as I said earlier, Karen Fisher is a local Tucson quilter, art quilter. She's the immediate past president of the guild and she will be teaching for Cactus Quilt Shop this fall, her 50-50 design. This one here is not so civil. Excuse me, I'll get out of your way. Oh, you gotta see this one though, oh my gosh. This is beautiful, this is, um, look at this. Don't you just love that? Those are all buildings. Can you see that? Let me try and get in a little closer. These are all buildings around a, a center star. It, look at that compass star. That is just incredible. And then the road as her sashing between that around the world. I think that is just a fun, fun, fun quilt. And then if you can read it, it says color my world up at the top. Caring to the left, thankful to the right, and down at the bottom, it says compassionate. I think that's so fun. So creative. Now look at this one. Wow. Isn't that something? Look at the three dimensions on this one. It's called Bubbles. Um, this is an original design by Hannah Loda. That is fun as can be. I think that is so fun. And then look at this. Ooh la la, Paris. Doesn't that just scream Paris to you? I really feel that Paris vibe in this one. And it's so funny, F fun, sorry. Poodles hit Paris, topsy-turvy poodles hit Paris. That is darling. Let me find out a little bit more about it. Let me go back here. There's, so what I'm doing is at, Every three quilts or so, they have um, an information sheet on the topsy-turvy Poodles Hit Paris by Peggy Baldwin Clayton. She's from Galveston, Texas, and it's machine pieced and quilted and collaged. And this is a Poodles in Paris designed by Laura Heine. Ooh, we have to look into that one because that's just cute as can be. I've been to Paris. I love that. That is as cute as cute can be. A lot of work in that one. This is fun. This is called Starry Night. Very nice. But then I'm a sucker for stars. This one is called, this is the Modern Quilt Guild Showcase. I've moved uh, shows, sorry. Didn't realize I'd done that. This is called Northbound Geese. Oh yes, look at that. Look at all those flying geese fed, heading north. Isn't that fun? Okay, coming back to me so I can do some more moving around. 
anyway, there's some really, truly incredible quilts here. Um, some marvelous artistry, some incredible quilting and piecing, uh, original designs, designs from other people that they've tweaked or, or, or done things with. Um, I'm coming over to this one because this one is really drawing my attention. It's a big, big quilt. This reminds me a lot of the style of Pieces of the Past. It's a Schintz Flower Medallion, unknown maker. This is an antique quilt, vintage 1850 to 1865. Now remember, we have a lot of reproduction fabrics that on something like this um, would be a great option for you to do these little hexy flowers, which were very popular, but look at this, ladies. And if, I don't know if there's any gentlemen watching, but and gentlemen, look, even around is all hexy. So this is all hexies in there. This would have taken forever, but wow. And so this would have all been hand done completely. It looks like it's a coverlet. But isn't that something? I think it's just fabulous. Just really something. So we're gonna go trying to figure out where I am. So I, and trying to not get people in the in the shot who don't want to be in the shot. Trying to be so you know, respectful of their space. So, here's another one. And I love, I love these. I don't know how to do them, but this is something I am drawn to all the time. Mariner's Compass is, I really need to learn how to do it, but oh, Mariner's Compass is just awesome. Let me go up here. And this was completed in 1840. Isn't that something? Look how bright those fabrics are. Everybody thinks that 1800 fabrics, um, 19th century fabrics are dull, but they're not. They're not. Isn't that something? So those beautiful old quilts um, are really something. Now you may be sitting on a quilt um, that you don't know the background of at, at home, and we are fortunate in the Tucson area that Joyce Larson, who is a quilt appraiser, um, lives in Sierra Vista and she is available to appraise your great-grandmother's quilts. Now they're probably not worth a lot, but um, she can help you know whether or not they should be insured. Um, a lot of times those quilts need a little bit of restoration work and whether or not it's worth doing the restoration work or whether or not you should. Joyce can help answer all those questions and she can also, uh, she's going to be using the classroom at the shop um, periodically to uh, to do some appraisals so keep in mind that that is something that if you've got a great-grandmother's quilt or, or a quilt that's been handed down to you over the years and you just don't know what you have and you'd like to find out that she can do that and with some of those older quilts don't be expecting to find a $20,000 quilt that, that that so rarely happens but it would be nice to know a little bit more about what you've inherited and what you should do with it rather than just toss it to the goodwill. There may be a better use for it, or the goodwill may be perfectly acceptable use for it, but at least you would then know, right? So we've got her information at the shop. And so if you're looking for, if you have an old quilt, we've had a few people come in over the last couple of months with quilts that they've inherited, and we sent them to Joyce. Um, it's well worth that. Um, I actually have one I'm trying to pick up for my brother-in-law, and they just got back from Norway, so I'm not sure I'm gonna meet up with them, uh, that was done by uh, my husband's family back in the 1930s. And I don't think it has a lot of value other than sentimental value, but I would like Joyce to take a look at it and just tell me a little bit about it. So keep that in mind. Oh, hey Debbie, how are ya? All right, so here we are. This one here, isn't that an interest? I think of windmills. Do you see the windmills in that? I have no idea what it's called, but that's what it reminds me of. It's actually called, let me get over here, railroad crossing. Oh, yes, I can see that now. Railroad crossing, definitely. This one here, I love pink and green together. Obviously, look at my logo on the shop. Chips and whetstones. And this one is New York Beauty. Isn't that fun? All right. I am going to walk over here and see if I can 
I know, I'm pretty sure Karen has one. Does Karen have one more quilt? I'm asking Carl, he's here with me. Say hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Does Karen have one more quilt? Or just the two? I, I was, thought she I, had three. I, I've only found the two. Okay, we found the two that we've shown you. Um, but we thought we'd enjoy that um, connection to home. And look at the colors on this. So any of you who know me know that the turquoises and blues and aquas are my colorway, my personal colorway. And so this is one that I really like and it's called Yankee Traveler. Isn't that fun? And then this one is called 221B. All right, well, I'm gonna turn off the video for a little while. I'll come back in a little while from another section of the show. I hope you've enjoyed some of the glimpses of what is here at this beautiful, beautiful quilt show. Um, I'll be checking back in in a few minutes with a different area. See you later.